So, but it's just to buy the wood. Yesterday is rain, so far and uh, narrow range in the better stay slightly towards the cautious side and uh, wait to see any failure at initial balance first there where it does at the highs of yesterday perhaps. So price doesn't love here below initial balance low got short here for continuation now stopped out uh, at this trade let's see uh, fake down uh, very nicely here initial balance low so let's see so price all the way up to initial balance high and fell just in the middle now. So good long here at uh, 93 is an anticipation this can uh, trend towards the upside and make a new high perhaps, let's see. Out of the long trade here quickly price failing uh, more big up. So price uh, held support on big up here and I got another long at the same price 93 is here. Now price just at the highs. Let's see if it managed to have new high scale out first target here. Let's see if it gives us a nice uh, print up to weekly high here at 13 so 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 looking for this level here. So price pushing further high now. Let's see if it gives a nice bounce. Straight, straight uh, breakout, very nice straight. Let's see if it gives a final push for flag in the position. So we have 42 points for the first hour of cast trading. Nice range. So perhaps this can extend all the way up to get the brace highs. So flag and the long trade from 93 is here. Second entry at the same price uh, up to 820 is nice trade. Of course, this can extend up to get the base high. So let's see where this is heading. To see the weekly profile here, you can see where we are in terms of the bigger picture on the weekly time frame. Just pushing for new time highs slightly. Let's see if it manages to break out or if it fails. So price just pull back here from the highs, like uh, 10 points or so. Nice uh, breakout of initial balance, high continuation, higher here. Of course, fail to test uh, previous uh, yesterday's high. So looking at shift, we either have a retest here to shift it. Uh, nice failure for a short trade for the short term. Or if price pulls back at the point where the average price then holds support and grinds higher. Let you can see basically price uh, since the high here the first hour should have all the way down to initial balance low. This is where the first deep cut bought, then this massive rally, massive equivalent to the range of the day happened to the tick support here, the initial balance low a little bit higher here, then bang, straight up. Where is this level exactly at the so far weekly volume with the average price to the tick support then gradually grinding higher so we need to see if generally will break out to new all time high later on so price uh, is just market open and price trying to push above uh, the current highs here towards the high the day we said the short trade here at 23 seeing spy pulling back so that perhaps can follow down to Volume with the average price, also if we see the day, the weekly, the week so far here, you can see this value area high, price just failing, so perhaps can give a pullback down towards the low of the day here. So price just rally all the way up to the highs of the day here, uh, side towards uh, yesterday's high, give the goal short it uh, again here at 33, let's see if this uh, will manage to hold here or if this will give a pullback towards P1. The trend of course is higher, you can see generally price held the lows then absorb higher and against SPY pullback the DAX straight up. So price pullback here from the first half of cast trading high, flattened the trade here and scratched the Previous short trade to early here should have waited until at least the edge so or even yesterday's high. That's okay. Hopefully, it didn't flatten an early in price. Uh, potential the trade was to go down to volume average price at 08. We see 
the current week uh, with the previous week so far at our time has you can see one two three four failures towards the upside so of course this sometimes can break out but if it fails it's a good uh, trading location to go short against even for a small pullback or potentially a, a bigger uh, pullback let's see if this will uh, go towards the goal of whatever price for the week perhaps so price pulling back very nicely exactly failed at the first hour of cast trading high even failed to hold yesterday's high retest way too early exit here should have held as anticipated down to volume weight average price straight straight down here straight straight down here you can see how nice uh, this trade location was and how badly it uh, and scale up very early here also if we see as said earlier the week so far you can see very nice failure here once again the weekly highs now just on weekly volume weight average price let's see what price will do at 92 here this is the long trade here at 94 uh, let's see if it's too early or if price will give a rebound from here also tracking uh, Bollinger but here still not at the lows uh, the best trade location should be done at the lows of the day let's give it some time to see here it's just initial balance midpoint you can see here straight bouncing above 94 my entry price just held support to the T on volume where the average price for the week this is where earlier uh, got absorbed and rally higher so we need to see back how far and how fast and how much this can extend I will scale out 98 first 40 points into the long trade here so let's see if, if this can give any kind of rebound or if it will rip straight down next area of uh, interest is the low of the day and value area low of the week 82 is here so if price goes here we would like to see if it holds any kind of support as well so price gave another retest at the initial balance midpoint and volume with the average price for the week now up to initial balance high still holding some long here for a move up to view up perhaps let's see if this dip will uh, give a nice little rebound here so price all the way to the low the first hour of cash trading in the low of the day got long here at the lows uh, for a short term bounce also looking uh, bollinger bands here to see which uh, uh, if it holds support or not here let's give it some time to see if this would give a sort of bounce here long 81s and 83s so if we get a bounce up to the previous long here will be a nice trade so price uh, bouncing nicely here uh, as anticipated very nice to the tick long now we need to shift goes all the way up to 800 straight straight up here you can see on a balance day trading the edge here simultaneously looking at the uh, various identifiers here for trend change just at the low, just at the balance low great uh, level to go long for a tight stop let's see how far up let's start the rest of the long here for a few points uh, let's give some time to see still have one hour to go almost uh, for uh, end of European cash trading so we need to see if this short term bounce here will remain the low of the day and price will reverse all the way up towards the middle of the range or if it will make a new low spike seems uh, heavy towards the downside so let's see so here we are at the end of the European cast trading you can see new lows here fake down once twice then straight three, uh, 25 points higher that was the intention of this trade of course as you see price failing you go out then of course you can re-enter once price just above the previous low very nice trading session so far nice entries although too early exits nice uh, trading the morning here also